doing. We uh, had a few people that were interested in canning meat. Uh, we've canned meat in the past. We've done turkey. We've done uh, pork, mutton. Uh, this is the first rose. We're going to can hamburger meat. Uh, so the easiest way that I have found to do it is to boil it. So this is 15 pounds of hamburger meat that I have boiled down. Just throw your hamburger meat in, throw your water, boil it down to uh, however brown you want it. Mine is about done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, put it in the jars. In my quart jars, I have added uh, two teaspoons of cannon salt. There's the cannon salt right here. Uh, to per jar. And so I'm going to strain it and I'm going to add the meat into that jar. And then the stock that you have left, um, you put it, after it cools down, put it in the fridge. The fat is going to rise to the top. And then you can get the fat off and you can use the rest of the stock for soup or whatever. Uh, you can use just hot water to fill your jars after your meat is in. Uh, but for more better flavor, uh, I have read to use beef broth. So basically I've taken beef bouillon, uh, added it to another pot with my water and I got it heating up now. Uh, make sure as you always are canning, make sure your jars are uh, sterile and clean. Uh, I got my lids here ready to go. So let's just hope this turns out. Like I said, this is 15 pounds. That usually does about seven quarts. Uh, so um, we're gonna give it a try. So we will post here in a little bit and let you know how it's going. Once you, uh, as canning, once you get uh, your jars all ready to go, your lids on and ready to go, it's got to be pressure cooked. So we're going to put our jars in our pressure cooker and we will video that here in a little bit. Uh, it's going to be at 12 pounds pressure for about 90 minutes. So it's a long process, but uh, I'm praying that it's worth it. So we will add to our video here in a little bit and get back to you uh, in just a little bit. Thank you. Okay. So now what we're doing, we're straining some of the juice out and going to be putting it in the jars. Uh, one thing you need to be careful of is after you got all your meat in your jars, you want to make sure, and I'll kind of show you, make sure, as in all canning, wipe off the rims because you don't want any grease or meat or anything in between the rims that prevents the lid from sealing correctly. Uh, the best thing to do when canning meat is use... Uh, just a napkin or a paper towel with water and add a little bit of vinegar to it. That way it cleans it a little bit better than just basic water. But make sure your, your lids and your uh, rings where they're going to go is good and clean so you get a good fit. So we're going to get these jars filled and then we get ready to put them in the canner. We will be back. Okay, so I have my beef broth that is hot. I have filled my canning jars up uh, with the hamburger meat to about leave about one inch headspace. So we're going to fill the broth in the jars and then what you're going to do is take a knife and go down the sides and make sure you're getting all the air bubbles out because you want to make sure you got enough juice to cover your meat but like I said you want to leave about one inch headspace so I'm going to have to add a little bit more to those jars and then once I get all these filled uh, like I said I'm going to be wiping them off really good to make sure there's no fat or grease or anything on the sides. Uh, as I said previously, I'll be using water with a little bit of vinegar just to wipe them off like this. The jars are super hot. Uh, but just make sure you're wiping off the rims really good. Probably me, just to make sure. Since this is my first time canning hamburger meat, I'll probably do it a couple of times just to make sure I get all the grease off. Uh, once you do that, we'll be putting the lids on and I'll show you how to do that and get ready to process them. Yeah. And then what are you going to say after that? Say, what up, my preppers? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, what's going on? Mail has cleaned them off. I am now preparing them to go into the canner. Oh, hot. You have to boil your lids. Make sure you boil your lids in water. Uh, once you get them boiled, make sure you get those rims clean really good. Place the lids on there. Use the magnet. Place the lids on there. Hold on. Let me find. Uh... Hey, Mel. Yes. Where's the gripper? We're back with the gripper. Always use this. These are really hot. Put it around there. Tap on. You know, kind of twist till tight. Over to the canner. You got about one inch, inch and a half of water in the bottom of your pressure cooker. As we do these. 
place them in there. Seven jars. We'll fit into the cooker. Ooh. Slow down. Yes, when you uh, when you put about an inch of water in there, dash a little vinegar in the pressure cooker. That way your jars don't get all you know crud on them. It's just kind of like where the water boils. Keeps them clean. Keeps your lids clean. Makes it easier. That's what you want to probably do when you're done. Is pull these rings off. You can actually store them without the rings if they seal. Pull the rings off, kind of after wipe the jars hours. down. After yeah, after 20. 24 hours of taking them out. So we're going to do this for 90 minutes. Once it hits, well, before you do that, turn it up to high. Watch this little port here. It'll start steaming. Once you start seeing some steam come out of here, set your timer for 10 minutes. Steam it for 10 minutes. Gets all the air out. After 10 minutes, put your um, weight. weight. Put the weight like that. Probably most of you know how to use these things. But you put the weight like that on there. Let it get up to between 10 and 12 pounds. Start backing your heat down. Watching it. Don't let it go over 12. If you can keep from it, it don't hurt. It, you'll know if it goes over 12. It'll start <laughs> making a lot of noise. And uh, once it gets to 10, 12 pounds, set for 90 minutes. That's an hour and a half. At the end of 90 minutes, hopefully everything works out good. We'll see you then. Remember, I'm wiping the lids off and stuff. Ready? Oh, okay, <laughs> good, good. All right, here we are. Um, hour and a half from the start of the pressure, which means we've been doing this for almost two and a half hours. So what happens is it takes a while to get the pressure up. You got to steam for 10 minutes and then you get it up to 12. You time 90 minutes from at 12 and then you have to turn it off, wait for the pressure to drop in order to get the top off of it. So in that time, you, as you notice, I, I went and showered, but Mel has been here the whole time. We switched up. You do not want to leave your canner unattended. I, uh, when, it, when I'm watching the, the canner, I give me a book, do a little reading, keep my eye on the canner. I'm just paranoid that way. You don't want to blow this thing up in your house. I'm not trying to scare you from canning, but uh, you just need to be attentive to the canner. And don't think that you can, oh, I've got an hour before bed, I'm gonna do this. This has been a, what, a half a day job at mm -hmm. least? Seven quarts. You've got almost 15 pounds of hamburger meat here. Um, two pounds per quart. About two pounds per quart. And so we're going to pull them out and see what they look like. Where are we putting them over here? Yeah. Here. Uh, okay. Get your uh, little canner tongy thing there. Look at that meat. Look at that. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Hamburger meat. Watch how I'm going to walk this way. Uh, you want to set them out, let them cool. You want it after they cool down for a few 20, hours? 24 hours. Well, after a few hours, you check, make sure the lids have sealed. Then after 24 hours, you can remove the rings, wipe, wipe it all down. Put the rings back on. Mel puts the rings back on, probably a good idea. Um, stick the rings back on, and that way they will stay sealed without the rings, but if you hit them or something, you could knock them loose, depending on where you're storing them. And so, uh, open one of these cans up, two pounds of meat, make your spaghetti, tacos, all that good stuff. And you don't have to worry about freezer space, refrigerator space, you set it on the shelf and it's good to go. Alright, we're going to be posting this video, if you have any... Uh, you have any questions? Talk to Melanie. <laughs> See you, preppers. Bye.